Wild Rivers National Park is um, part of the Maclay River catchment. Uh, the, the catchment itself covers about 12,000 square kilometres. Uh, the park is about 1,500 square kilometres, so around about in rough figures, 10% of the Maclay's total catchment. Um, the Pollution Science Research Group within the School of Environmental Rural Science. Part of my research is um, understanding the two pollutants, metalloids, arsenic and antimony, and that's come about of doing research in the Maclay River catchment. Um, it's a highly mineralised area, and um, as a result of historic mining operations, there's been mobilisation and movement of pollutants associated, particularly arsenic and antimony. The work that we do at UNE is all on the pollutants that come from the historic mining operations. The mine operators have improved the environment here with rehabilitation and very significant water management to mitigate discharges into the maclay. Bass tend to have, hang around this sort of habitat where there's um, ambush locations where they can actually hide in underneath the rock structure where they can um, uh, run out quickly and grab something that might be coming down in the water column. square kilometre floodplain, 60% of it back swamps that were waving reeds in Russia, so big macrophytes, big biologic systems that were processing things. You drive from Kempsey to here now and you look across the floodplain, there's this short grass, you know. So those swamps have been dramatically changed um, through all the flood mitt scheme, etc, etc. And I think probably from a river health point of view, like especially the estuary health, a large part of what used to drive the health of the estuary, we've lost that big biologic sort of um, processing unit.